What's going on YouTube? We get stick customs here. Trying to get out the door with a cup of coffee and a camera in my hand. <laughs> Beautiful day. Oh, I'm gonna close the door. Oh, it's gorgeous out here. 60 degrees. Mm. I'm loving it. Feels like springtime. I don't want to get you in the sunlight. How's that? <laughs> uh, if you've been following me on Instagram, like I know some of you are, I hope some of you are, you've seen that I've rehandled one of my uh, carving knives. Ugh, good coffee. This is it right here. The blade is actually out of a flex cut like this one. And I said on Instagram that it was rosewood. It's not, it's Paduke, which is a good, really nice, gorgeous hardwood. And I'm loving the way this thing is carving now. I mean, the blade has always been fantastic. It's just the handle was never really comfortable for me to hold. I could never get a really good, uh, comfortable grip that didn't cause me discomfort or uh, not really discomfort, but not being in a comfortable position. I guess that would be discomfort. I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy this one. Well, this handle, and I'm going to make another one with another piece of this Paduke. It's gorgeous stuff. I love it. Ugh. Doesn't really have a scent to it. But let's get cutting. All right. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, cutout where you can see that Flex Cut drilled it. And so what I'm going to do, first off, I'm going to, I've got this fence set, so I'm going to cut this in half. Gorgeous. to it but hey it'll work so I've made my mark so that should be just past where the blade comes out let's hope I don't hit any metal that's what the blade looks like after the gunk and glue that flex cut put in there is cleaned off now to put it on the handle. And I'll go ahead and mark that up. Oh, <clears throat> I'm going to try to do this. <laughs> uh, okay. Nope, that's not going to work. I have no place to put you. But because of the way the angle is on the blade, I have to put it at a little bit of an angle to get it kind of sort of perpendicular. If I went like, eh, I could probably go like that. What do you think? Go straight in? Nah. A little bit like that. And now I need to carve it out with chisel. I've got it chiseled out now where the blade fits in there nice. And I've got gloves on because I'm fixing to use the epoxy. So let's get going on this. The epoxy I'm using is a 
Permatex 5 minute epoxy. And let's mix some of this up. You never know how much you're going to need. So it's better to have too much than not enough. And draw that back down. Put the cap back on. And stir it up. I'm not adding epoxy all the way to the end because it squeezes out. I found that out the hard way yesterday. Uh, come on. Well, I already knew that, but. This stuff gets all over the place. Set my blade in place. Nice snug fit. And a little bit more epoxy on this side. And there we go. Now to put it in the vise. I want to clean out any of the uh, squeeze out from the end of the blade. Just makes it easier later on when I'm trying to clean it up. Ask me how I know. I found that out yesterday as well. It's something that I already know, but <laughs> if you don't do this all the time, you forget about it. Get it nice and clean. Let that sit for about five, ten minutes, and then get down to shaping it. And clean up a little bit more of that around there. Mm -hmm. The resins had a chance to sit up. And now it's time to do some shaping, but there is a problem. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, the blade had an opportunity to squeeze out while I was clamping it down on it. There's still plenty of metal back into the handle, but it's an aesthetic thing. Not necessarily anything that's going to be detrimental to the blade and how it functions, but it's just one of those things that gets on my nerves. Part of the problem of trying to shoot a video and work one-handed <laughs> so let's get down to shaping this on the sander now where do i put you One nice thing about using a spike belt, when I push in on it, it gives me a convex side of the handle.
by rocking the handle back and forth, it accentuates that convex shape. It just makes it feel a lot nicer in the hand. I got a little bit more work to this. I'll come back to you. I've dropped down to like a 120, or jumped up to a 120. It's going to take a lot of the uh, sanding marks out from the 50 grit. And I was using an old belt because if I used a brand new belt, it would take off way more material than I want. I don't know if you can see it, but that fine powder, because of it's a much higher grip, smooths out pretty much all the sanding marks from the lower grip, paper, belt, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Dad? <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> what's going on YouTube? Uh, just sitting here uh, checking out my uh, uh, knife. The uh, uh, finish the handle. <laughs> kind of, sort of finish the handle. While I'm sitting here editing the video that uh, you're kind of sort of watching. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, monkey boy? <laughs> uh, got the handle finished. Uh, little mono modifications that I'm going to have to do to it. I might have to shorten it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it long until I figure out what it is that I like about it. But for the most part, it's done. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And check out these videos over here. You might find something you like. And hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I will talk to you all later. Bye.